me, 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 me. One, two, one, two, check, check, one, two. We're gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Ultimate. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, welcome back. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Thank you very much for taking time out to watch me do what I do. So today we have bought just two, technically speaking, four new products. Yeah, and they're all from Beauty Bay. I have the the nude palette, the neutral palette, the Sample Beauty brow gel. And this last item, yeah, I thought it would be bigger, but clearly the way it was pictured, the way it was shown, I was deceived. But I'm not gonna lie, I didn't actually read the description. I just saw what I thought I wanted and it wasn't so. But this is supposed to be some kind of palette rig from Dennis and Maris. As you can see, the logo right here. I thought it was gonna be like this big, like the one that you get from Morphe or even better yet, Amazon. <laughs> and it turned out to be some ring cuff thing. I don't know if you guys can see. I better actually just take it out because I should have known about the price. I think it was like five pound or something. But this is it, guys. It's small and cute. I mean, I understand the concept because that literally fits on my finger, my middle finger. Just squeeze it to obviously your size because it's quite wide but um what in the miniature is going on here i kind of want to do like a cool tone kind of vibey look today and i thought these two palettes and i wanted to get affordable palettes as well so if there's anyone that wants to kind of like recreate the look can just jump onto beauty bay and get these palettes okay i'm even like low-key high-key um wanting to get the bigger neutrals palette because i feel like I could do something with it, but I don't necessarily need it. I'll see how the nine pan goes, and then I'll see whether or not I'm gonna get the bigger pan. And I'm also looking to get the Jade and Beauty Bay collaboration eyeshadow palette. I think it's like 42 pans of eyeshadow in that one, and it's actually on sale for 12 pounds. So I think I might be ordering that because I want to buy a bit more, apart from Morphe eyeshadow palettes, I also want to buy more affordable palettes as well because I could be using these palettes, and maybe someone again wants to recreate the look, and it's just something simple and easy to go and order for beauty bay to get those products so we're gonna get into this look so please sit back and watch or grab an eyeshadow palette maybe around the same kind of like cool tone situation and yeah let's just let's just beat the face okay getting ready for videos nowadays has become a major hassle like look at this skin why is this skin so Gracie. Like sorting out the hair because I didn't want to do my hair tomorrow morning for church and stuff. I thought, you know what, let's do it today. Why are these edges like acting up to chop you off? And again, with the brows, they're on a different journey today. So don't be alarmed. So this uh, brow gel from Sample Beauty, I did use it today. I have very sparse brows, but it was able to kind of like, and it's actually all right. It's not bad as it's what, £2.95 or something from Beauty Bay. Not half bad. So let's show you the eyeshadow palettes because this is just taking a bit too long. So this is a neutral's palette, which is nine pan version. And these are the colours. Very, very neutral, very, very cool tone. This is what we want for today. I don't really own much of the nine pan palettes, but I thought instead of going in straight into the bigger size palettes, let's start with the smaller ones first. Not saying that all the shades will work for me, but there's more shades available in the bigger pan than it is in the nine pan. And this is the nude palette. This palette is actually older. The neutrals one just came out not long ago. And again, this is a nine pan palette. And this is what the nudes look like. And it's kind of got some of the colors that I kind of want to use today. And yeah, hopefully we have good pigment. We have good blendability with these palettes because my experience are more so with the limited edition palettes that they normally like tend to bring out. So I'm hoping and praying. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lids and I'm gonna keep it affordable. We're gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Ultimate base in the shade medium because i'm not going anywhere i don't really need to put my eye primer on which would be the milk makeup primer or the urban decay primer 
I have both of these palettes out in front of me. I am gonna start from dark to light. If you have any questions about the brushes I use, please let me know in the comment section below and I should get back to you. So I don't wanna go straight into black. I'm gonna go into a brown. So I'm gonna go into the nude palette. I'm gonna grab the shade After Dark. I realized in some of my videos that my mirror tends to come into shot and it doesn't keep me in focus. I'm gonna try as much as I can to make sure that it's not in the way. So we'll start off. Oh, she dark. Okay, wow. And that's a brown. This one right here is what I just put on. Wow. Okay, that's enough. Whatever's left on the brush, I'll bring to this side. Like I did. This is not a second dip. Wow. The last time I used a nine pound palette from Beauty Bay, I think it was the Golden Age palette. But these palettes, these nine pound palettes, they retail for seven pound fifty. And I'm sure in a sell period, it's gonna go down even more. Okay, it's really giving me that cool tone vibe, which I am not mad at. And it's a brown, which is weird. This is the like, neutrals palette. I'm just gonna pop this one and see what that does. I don't think it's actually gonna do much. Yeah, it's just a bit, it's a bit lighter. Didn't really need that color, to be honest. This is gonna be a very quick eye look. Now I'm feeling to go into the nude palette and grab in, so that shade that I just used that I didn't really need was called Glam. Is it Glam or Clam? It's called Clam, okay. Okay. I'm going into the nude palette now. So I'm gonna grab this shade here, which is called Throw Shade. And we're just gonna put this literally over that Clam shade. Okay, this is very gray. <laughs> wow okay i've not used a gray eyeshadow before so this is all new to me and this is literally an all matte palette okay so no shimmers for this look today and i have to say it's very pigmented it's like a bluey gray so now i'm going to go into the neutral palette same brush i'm going to grab this shade here and it's called suede so this is like a lighter gray this is going to go in the inner corner as you can see i'm just placing the colors to kind of see how I want the gradient to work. So obviously we're going from light to dark. I am gonna go ahead and put a black in the outer corner. You know, I haven't actually finished the look, but the way it's going, I feel like I wanna do it again already and I haven't even finished. <laughs> That's how quick and easy and blendable these eyeshadows are from Beauty Bay. It's, it's ridiculous. Try and find a smaller blending brush. I'm gonna go into shade throwback, which is this one here. It might be a risk. Actually, no. I'm gonna go to the one next to it, which is called Cinnamon, which is this one here. And we're gonna blend out this area here. Cause I want a bit of warmth, but yeah, that color's not doing anything. I'm just gonna go back into, I'm gonna go to Throwback, which is this shade here. Just bring back a bit of warmth into this part here. Now I kind of wish <laughs> that there was a shimmer, but we're gonna stick to what we're doing. So I'm gonna go back into those colors. I've literally used one brush, apart from the one I just used now to blend out the edges or to put a bit more warmth in my upper crease area. We're just gonna go back into this color. Now we're just gonna work on building them up into that throw shade color, which is the first gray we went into. Cause now we just want to kind of make sure everything is blended then we're going to go into suede so again we're just going to go back and forth now i'm going to go into a black the black in the the nude matte palette seems a bit gray whereas this one seems a bit more black if that makes sense yeah i'm going to go into the neutrals palette i know this is probably not the best brush to use because it's not giving me precise application but for now i just want to blend into what we got going on and it's lovely i'm gonna tight line my waterline so it's black i'm gonna add a black liner as well i'm gonna go into that darker gray and just raise it here i'm just blending it out more i'm doing the same here i've never done this color like ever in life and i just thought very experimental when i saw the neutrals palette i was like yeah I'm inspired. So I'm going to go into tight line first. And his liners are so easy to use. When the face is done, lashes and everything are done, 
it's gonna be a vibe so it's gonna be my standard situation in regards to how i do my face anyway so guys let's get a bit cleaned up what do we think i'm giving you cool i'm giving you gray gray on warm vibes <laughs> gray on chocolate skin i love the way everything kind of came out but this is my first attempt at using cool tones especially a gray scale situation it's just really nice uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below guys but yeah this is my first attempt and i think a gray smoky eye is a vibe these two palettes the nude and the um neutral palette i am very tempted to get the bigger version of the neutral palette but these two together Okay guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below of this look. Thank you very much for staying to the end of this video. I really appreciate you guys so, so much. And as always, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Okay. Toodles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, approval. We are approved.